Brian Dillon here with a follow-up to our tutorial on creating your own Photoshop templates with the EKG in the grid. What occurred to me when I finished that tutorial is that I should have shown you how to easily change the color. So you've created a blue background, as you see here, but maybe you want to create two or three different versions of the same PowerPoint template, and there's a few different ways to do this. Now, the first thing you may want to do is just say, you know what, let's just go in here and change all the colors. So for example, I can go down to the blue layer here and find a color that maybe I want to choose. Let's go ahead and choose something maybe in the red, maybe a little richer red there. And I can, of course, fill this with the paint bucket tool. And that's one way of doing it, do the same thing up here. But another way to do this is use some of the adjustment layers and some other techniques within Photoshop. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna just grab the line tool here. And by the way, this, this technique pretty much works on anything that's of color. It will not work on white or gray or variations of white and gray. So um, I wanna make sure I'm below the logo and the EKG. The EKG doesn't really make any difference because the EKG is white. So I'm gonna go above the line. I'm gonna go ahead and down here to this half, the circle with half black, half white, and we're gonna add an adjustment layer. And there's a few different ways you can do this, but I'm gonna go with hue and saturation. And if I just use the sliders here, I can change the color of the background. And over here, I can adjust the saturation to less or more. And you can play with this to your heart's content with different colors. So that's one way of doing it. Now to get out of the adjustment layer here, I'm just gonna click on the layers again. And what I can do here too, is I can turn off the adjustment layers. I can also adjust the opacity. So how much, you know, how much effect do I want to show through? So that's one way. Another way, of course, is just to go ahead and add another layer. So I'm going to select this layer, add a new layer, and we're going to call this color. And what I can do here this time around is fill again, this, fill this layer with red. And what I'm going to do is, is adjust the blending mode, how it's going to blend. And I'm going to choose color here. And now what it does is it's gonna allow the, the effects to show through. And again, I can sit here and fool around with the opacity. And you can get some really different effects. This is one of these things when I used to create a lot of uh, PowerPoint templates, I'd create one and then I would create four or five different color variations, green, things that are gonna look good, make sure I still have good contrasting uh, you know, with my text and my background. The other thing I wanna just point out here, the yellow line is also being affected. So maybe I'm happy with the yellow line. Uh, I just want to go ahead and I can drag the yellow line up and make sure it's above it. Another thing to keep in mind, because this is a, an adjustment layer, let me go ahead and turn off my color layer. It actually automatically applies a mask. So if I want to, I'm going to click on this again. I can fool around with the color anytime. So let's bring this up to something a little bit brighter. And what I can do now, go back to my layers. If I use a brush here, I have a mask on it, I can actually remove the colors just by applying black or different colors. Well, that's about all the time we have here. Just wanted to show you some different ways if you create something in Photoshop or Photoshop Elements, like in this instance, simple ways to be able to change the colors of your artwork. Until the next time, hope you always find unique ways to make your presentations more editable to your audience. Take care.